Now I didn't notice this. Um, I should have noticed this. This was out August 11th, so yesterday actually. Didn't know that. Okay, but I didn't know this. I didn't see this until I got a notification. I have not seen this video or heard about any of this video yet. I haven't watched any YouTuber about it yet, so I'm gonna react to this by myself. I have no idea what's in this, but it's more NHL 24 news, I guess. That's all I know. So we're gonna watch it here together, and I'll give you my feedback at the end of the day. There you go. Yep. Okay. Early summer. Yep. Okay. We got. Okay. Everyone, I'm clapping. Esports NHL community manager. Okay. I'm Mike Engelhart, creative director on the NHL series. Howdy. And I'm Chris Luke. I'm the senior producer on the NHL series. Howdy. So the reason why we're here together today is to talk about kind of our multi-year strategy and what that means. Okay. And we've got three core pillars that we're going to be oh, talking God. through. Community obsession being number one. Okay. Number two, social connection. Finally. And number three, gameplay innovation. Ooh. Let's start with the community aspect and how we're taking a new approach to yep. the relationship with players. Okay. Yeah, so when we talk about community obsessed or community obsession, it's really about putting our players at, at the center, at the forefront of every conversation. That's the first time they've ever done that. When it comes to looking back at the past, like NHL 23, um, we know it didn't live up to your expectations. Oh. Uh, we recognize that. And that's Thanks. something we definitely are going to try and course correct really? with NHL 24. Why did you release and it then? There's a lot of different feedback that comes to the community, and, and, and you collect a lot of it, and I read what? a lot of it online. And, you know, while we can't answer absolutely everything you guys send uh, to us, just know that we're reading them, we're seeing them, and we're using them to help plot the future with where we're going so with the franchise. How about the rest of the community? How can we get them involved? When can they get hands-on with the game? And how can they have an impact on NHL 24? As of this week, uh, players are free to register for our community playtesting program, which is where we put our game out in the wild. This is where we allow players to get hands-on with uh, everything in our product. And specifically this year, I know that we're focused on Hut and World of Chell being our two premier modes that we obviously want to get feedback on. Love so it. Wonderful, that's so like usual. For our players to, to know what we're fixing. Like and what usual. We're changing and that their feedback is being heard. I Brother. think that's one really important thing that we need to make Why? sure that we're addressing Why is we're it? talking today. Yeah, so in terms of the forums, we obviously read everything, whether it's on Twitter, Reddit. Uh, but the big thing we're doing this year is opening up an official EA Sports NHL oh. Discord channel. And okay, that's kind of nice, be coming though. After that's kind of nice. So that's the place where you can expect, you know, more one-on-one -on -one conversation, get your questions answered, uh, hear about the news, hear about, you know, where we're going, and just mm. creating a place where a player can come in and sort of just be involved in, in the EA Sports NHL community. Yeah, I think to build off of that, we're working to better understand what the biggest asks are, like what the community wants, mm -hmm. and then how can we get that into our product. And so you're game. actually going to work uh, with us here? Spectator mode as an example, uh, what we want to better understand with our community is what they want out of that feature, and then how can we build it so then mm -hmm. we're actually delivering upon what they want, rather than us go away over engineer and design oh. something that they don't necessarily want. Yeah, nothing worse mm -hmm. than building more than what people actually needed at the end of the day to satisfy that, that want or that desire. Yeah, absolutely. So with GM Connected, that's something we haven't publicly addressed for a Whoa. while. Now. And But we, what well, we know, everyone requests it. So yeah, we've requested it for years. A, a, a connected franchise mode. Well, first of all, I'm glad we got the G word out in the open and on the table. So, well, we haven't been here that long. Like for the time that we've been here, we've been exploring numerous different ways to try to figure out how to get this mode um, revitalized alive and, and bring it back into the, into oh, the franchise. Tell the us. One challenge though, when we look back at what GM Connected was when it first came out is yeah. it was a very big mode. And so mm -hmm, trying to mm -hmm. actually tackle this thing in a single year, it's really tough for us to do. So it's not something we know we can nail in a single cycle the way it was created in the past. If we twist away from the G word and talk about it in a different way, Are you give us updates? the way we're starting to think about this uh, experience and modernizing it, changing it around and figuring out again what those expectations are and figuring out what are the requirements, what are the things people really want to see in this mm -hmm. mode so we reimagine it correctly. We're looking at different things too, like multi-year development paths, which give us a chance to tackle bigger things. 
Uh, it won't be in 24, but we're gonna continue talking about it. This is sort of opening the conversation and we'll continue talking about this topic in future as we go forward. Hold up. In terms of that social connection- It won't connection be, something won't be in 24? Ask, how is crossplay coming along, as well as other social elements we're looking to add into the game. This I season. did see something about this though. incredibly social game. I think that's the beauty Cross of play. it. Crossplay, how far? Us, when we PC? Think about our product and our game, we want to develop and start to ensure, well, not start, but we are ensuring that we've got connected experiences all through the game where we have players interacting with one another, whether it's cooperatively or on a bigger scale, when you have Eshel teams with six players on the ice versus another six uh, on the other team. As we look ahead too, mm -hmm. I mean, a strong focus for us is definitely building out the social elements PC. in the world of Chell, PC. in Eshel, which then also then PC. translates and connects into our multi-year cross-play um, strategy. PC? Yeah, I mean, that story, I mean, we started that journey last year in 23 it was going to be too much again to do in a in a single cycle so we said okay this it's going to be a multi-cycle feature again and that was just the reality so last year we focused on let's at least get the foundation in PC? place which is allowing PC? people to have cross-platform matchmaking so you weren't able to team up but at least you could finally compete and then for for 24 it was like let's complete the circle so for 24 like you know PC. we're happy that we're actually going to be dr bringing true cross-play into world of chell so finally you're going to be able to if you're on sony and i'm on microsoft we're going to finally be able to link up be on the same team and but this doesn't mean pc circle, delivering that expectation so i'm happy that we've been able to do that for this year so no pc then, you know, it doesn't stop here though right like we want to be able to continue to hammer on this social opportunity um, find more ways for people to play whether it's cooperatively or competitively pc in either existing modes we have or there oh, might no. even be new modes we haven't thought about that we add to the game to continue to push this social pillar oh, no. In terms of our final pillar, gameplay innovation, obviously when you think NHL, uh, gameplay has been like the hallmark of the series oh, no. for a very long time. What's, uh, what's coming down the pipeline for, for gameplay this year and even into the future? Gameplay is the one thing that actually oh, no. uh, waterfalls across every single mode in the game. So it is a big focus. For 24, it's been one of the biggest focuses uh, in the short time that I've actually been here. Um, we've come up with a ton of new gameplay changes this year that changed the game from the opening face-off forward. Um, we've oh? revamped a lot of the different meta systems in the game. You're going to feel differences in terms of how you attack how you defend, the tactics that go into that, uh, even how you pass and hit is gonna be new and fresh. And I think people Whoa. are really going to enjoy what's actually there. This won't be the only focus. The goal every year is to ensure that our gameplay has a fresh take, that it feels mm -hmm. new, that it feels exciting. And so we're gonna continue to make this a massive focus going forward. Uh, and we've got some places we're going in, in the years ahead. One of the areas that we're exploring is tech-driven gameplay and what that means to us. Does that unlock volumetric capture where we can get unique animations for every single player on the ice in the NHL and what that would bring for this franchise and mm -hmm. how we position ourselves to have authentic strategies as well with uh, the data that we get back from the NHL and what that can unlock for us. I think that's sort of where we want to end off with this. And one final note, uh, in terms of when you'll be hearing about NHL 24 next, August 16th, 2023 that'll be the reveal of nhl 24. oh it's the 16th i thought it was the 11th i'm an idiot what's to come and we really appreciate everyone listening to this chris and mike you guys taking the time to sit down hopefully this is the first of many and I, i'm sure we'll be talking again very very soon dustin it's been fun yeah thanks for doing this Bobby. oh brother guys well i mean Okay, let's go over this here quickly. Here's our my here's my f my first couple thoughts that kind of go through my head right now. First of all, the way he kind of said cross platform kind of deal, where he kind of said, "Oh, you're on Microsoft, you're on Sony, you'll be able to play together." That means there is no PC coming, at least in this game. That's like a hundred percent telling. There's gonna be no PC, so. Damn, that kind of sucks. I mean, it clearly means there's no PC coming, right? Because he said Microsoft and Sony. I don't think so. Well, there's that. Okay, and then and the next thing. I'm kind of scared that this is going to be another throwaway disappointment game. I mean, he literally said he was disappointed. He knew how bad it was. 
how bad NHL 23 was and how we were so disappointed about it. I'm thinking this is going to be a disappointing game again. Like, there's no way after all of this, after what he says here, that this game is going to be top charts this year. Maybe 2020, maybe NHL 25. I'm, I'm disappointed. I mean, connected franchise, yay. That's huge. That is ginormous. That's pretty sick, though. That's going to be so much fun to play franchise with your friends, just like how it is in Madden. But if that's going to be it, like BO Pro is going to be the same. Hut, of course, is going to get a couple updates. Um, Chell is going to get a couple updates, of course. And Ultimate Team. But, like, why? So, I know he said gameplay is going to be changed a little bit. You, you saw some parts there, but. That's pretty much, if that's it, I don't know, guys. It's kind of sad. Well, I guess we'll see. August 16th. So that is next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, we will see if this game is going to be trash, disappointing as usual, or it's actually going to be helping like, actually really pretty good just to boost us up for next year. Because next year, he's kind of saying next year might be pretty good. So, if the game ends up being stupidly good next year, and this game is kind of like, you know, here's some little things, here's some updates, just enjoy the game, and then next year will come out pretty big, then I'm fine with it. I'll, I'll be okay with it, I guess. But... I mean, connected franchise is pretty big, so I don't know. We'll see. See what happens. I'm scared. Connected franchise, yay. Heck yeah. I'm down for it. That is sick as hell. But if that's all that's going to really change, like I said before in my last video, get ready for disappointment. EA, 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 EA. Hey, if you guys like this video, like, subscribe, put a comment down below. Catch you on August 16th. Peace.